नमस्कार or not so much of a trouble maker we have talked we have done a lot of videos so one of the important things i want to lay in front of you is how do we see planetary placements for example of the seventh lord of the d1 chart in different house placements how do we see the seventh lord of the d9 chart the navamsa chart within the d9 chart and also see the placement of the d1 seventh house lord in the d9 chart as well as vice versa so just to give you a heads up how you should generally see this the seventh lord of the d1 chart seventh lord of the d1 chart's placement in the 12 houses within the d1 chart will tell you how the resource of the house where it is coming from whichever house you are talking about where is the resource going or coming from or getting attached to so the seventh lord if at all it is placed in whichever house is within the d1 chart it is telling you where the resource of the seventh house is coming from what is the resource of the seventh house your partner so where is your partner coming from where is the resource coming from so if the seventh lord is placed for example within the d1 chart seventh lord of the d1 chart within the seventh uh, within the d1 chart if it's placed for example in the second house then you can say the partner the would be partner or the resource which is the partner is coming very close to your family in your community maybe coming from your tribe so one couple that i knew when they came with their horoscope or the girl came with a hor with a horoscope and said where will i find the partner i said most probably you will find the partner very close within your family within your tribe itself and could be very very close to the people that you know she eventually got married to somebody who was living within the gated community within one gated community there were about 150 homes that's it very close knit family both all of them belonging to the same tribe same caste so she found her husband because the families knew each other and they the house of the groom was just four houses away from hers so it was so close however what happened was after the marriage the person because the in the d9 chart the seventh lord was placed in the 12th house so this boy the groom while he was from her community staying in the gated community got him closer to home but eventually what happened to the partner the partner so in the d9 chart seventh lord going to a certain place shows what's happening to the partner so the seventh lord in the d9 chart because it is placed in the 12th house the partner was most of the time away he was in the merchant navy and so he used to be away for months together away from his spouse so the seventh lord of the d9 chart going into the 12th house meant the partner is most of the time away not present now seventh lord of the d1 chart within the d1 chart is showing where the resources coming from in the d9 chart seventh lord wherever it is going it shows what is happening to the partner what is happening with the partner but the seventh lord of the d1 chart its placement in the d9 chart shows what's happening to the relationship obviously whatever will happen to one or the other partner will affect the relationship so the placement of the seventh lord of the d1 chart placed in the d9 chart shows what's happening to the relationship so in the d9 chart of this girl the seventh lord from the d1 chart was placed in the eighth house which meant that the relationship will go through obstacles challenges problems why did the problems come in spite of finding the groom within the community within the gated community is because the groom was or the boy was always on the merchant navy and he was almost always away and because the seventh lord of the d1 went into the eighth house of the d9 which showed obstacles were coming to the married marital life especially to the sexual union this eighth house is also the house of your conjugal bliss 
so obstacles were coming there but because of those obstacles the relationship also ran into challenges now what happens is if the seventh lord of the d1 chart goes in a friendly sign in the d9 chart even in the eighth house then you get better results even out of the dusthana though some challenges will still come some obstacles will still come but if it goes into an inimical sign then there is a bigger problem here the seventh lord of the d1 chart of the girl was in the eighth house in an inimical sign so the boy who was traveling all around he was finding partners at different ports they go he was in the merchant navy and the girl thought that this guy is always away he is enjoying himself i am left alone so she found swales in the arms of somebody who was living within the gated community a few houses away they were their neighbors so when you look at the overall placements of the horoscope you should be able to see deeply where the seventh lord of the d1 chart is going within the d1 chart where the seventh lord of the d9 chart is going within the d9 chart within the navamsa chart but you should also be seeing where the relationship is going by the placement of the seventh lord of the d1 chart where it is placing your d9 chart so let's today talk about how the placement of the d1 house lord seventh house lord in the uh, d9 chart in different houses can give you different manifestation different relations different denotation and different results so let's talk about if the seventh lord of the d1 chart is going into the lagna the first house of the d9 chart so this shows where the focus of the partnership is going and where the relationship is going so this shows that the person is looking for a partner which will enhance their status in society because the first house is about your status in society how the society sees you so the partner will be seen as whatever is in your mind which you think will add to the status of society in society so if you, if you think marrying a very rich partner will enhance my status in society so you will be looking at those kind of partners if you think marrying somebody who is very good looking very beautiful very handsome that will enhance my reputation my prestige my in society then you look at the, those kind of people or if you think somebody who is very tall beautiful good looking handsome rich or somebody who is like a supermodel that will add to my privilege my status in society you may go for those kind of people so if the seventh lord of the d1 chart goes into the first house of the d9 chart it shows that your prestige of the couple will rise in the society after your marriage comes together both of you may also gain reputation respect in society both of you may do very well in your careers also because of which the standing in society is also improved however if it goes in a friendly sign then good for you but for some reason if the seventh lord of the d1 chart goes into an inimical sign in the lagna of the d9 chart it means that after your marriage your status in society goes through ups and downs challenges also issues and sometimes your reputation may even be affected as a couple as a bickering couple as a couple who are not very social those things may also come in so one needs to be real careful if the seventh lord of the d1 chart goes in the lagna in your d9 chart especially in an inimical sign be very very careful how you are coming out as a couple as a couple in the society how people are seeing you and try and protect your reputation even if it's in a friendly sign even if it's in exaltation for example yet be careful because the downfall can be very very huge in spite of an upturn being very good initially so this is a challenge for you as a couple it will be giving you good results but there will always be a chance of that there may be a challenge to a for a sudden downfall but it's a good placement if it's in a friendly sign if the seventh lord of your d1 chart is getting into the second house of your d9 chart it means what is keeping the relationship together what is keeping the relationship strong what is keeping the relationship strong one could be that the person comes from within your tribe within your community within your caste but also your principles and values which are alike and you relate to each other's principles and values so also keeping the relationship strong is also keeping the relationship tight the third thing could be that resources which is coming in the nourishment that is coming in for the couple after the marriage is also keeping the relationship tight because there is no dearth of relation of resources and you are loved also by your community and you also relate to each other's principles and values however this is only if it gets into a friendly sign or own sign or an exaltation sign 
if it's in a friendly sign better results if it's an own sign even better results if it's in the exaltation sign then best results however if it gets into an inimical sign then it, it means that the principles and values of the couples are becoming a challenge because of which they don't relate to each other they think differently and that becomes a challenge in the relationship resources may also be tight they may not be coming on, on time because of which also there is pressure on the couple and because of that also sometime because you're marrying within the community also everybody gets to know what's happening between you two and the matters becomes worse because people get involved so if it gets into the second house the d1 seventh lord gets into the second house in the d9 chart if it's in the friendly sign good results may come to you the relationship may also prosper but if it gets into inimical sign which means that much more effort the couple will have to put in so that the, their relationship is on an even keel and it does not go south only because of dearth of money or not being able to relate to each other's principles and values now if the d1 seventh lord goes into the third house in your d9 chart it means that what is keeping the relationship together is their effort the couple will have to keep put in effort to keep the relationship together and how well their communication is how well they able to relate to each other talk to each other understand each other give a patient hearing to each other that will also help the relationship and the third house is also about your willpower your motivation so a free will is given to the couple that how much effort you put in that much your relationship will be good how much you are able to regularly communicate with each other on a same plane will also help you so this is a good placement but effort will definitely will have to be put in by the couple and communication has to be good but for some reason if the, the placement of the seventh lot of your d1 chart is in an inimical sign in your d9 chart in the third house or even a debilitation for example then the relationship may go through lots of problems which means very lo lot of effort will have to be put in lot of hard work will have to be put in both by the couple to be able to keep the relationship intact and to keep the relationship going and there will be challenges in the communication there may be misunderstandings also so there will be a lot of work which needs to be done and you have to use a lot of the self enterprise to keep the relationship going not allow the misunderstandings to come in because then the relationship can go south if the seventh lot of the d1 chart goes into the fourth house of your of your d9 chart this shows that the relationship will prosper will do very well this is how the harmony in the houses how the peace in the houses how the couple work together to keep harmony in the, harmony in the house they work together to keep peace in the house they work together to keep love and affection in the house love binds the family together and the house is full of love each other supporting each other standing by each other this is especially true if it gets into a friendly side so there will be love there will be harmony there will be mutual support and there will be assets will be which will be coming in there may be property that they make they may have vehicles everything may be more or less hunky dory however if the seventh lord goes into an inimical sign in the fourth house in your d9 chart or affected by other yogas or doshas or you know negative aspects then there will be a big challenge for the domestic peace to be kept in the house how many kept to be kept in the house love and affection becoming the cementing factor between the couple so the assets may also suffer they make a property but the property goes into some challenges maybe later on they have to liquidate the property they may get vehicles but sometimes they have to do away with the vehicles vehicles may also break down so there will be pressure on the love harmony affection on the family because of both not being able to keep the harmony love affection together and also because there is a pressure of assets not doing well also so this is a tricky placement if because the fourth house is the most important house both in the d1 chart as well as in the d9 chart so if the placement of the seventh house lord in your d9 chart is an inimical sign surely there will be trouble and there is a double work to be done by the couple now if the seventh lord of your d1 chart goes into the fifth house of your d9 chart so here the focus and attention of the couple will be more on the children will also be on investment that they do and they will also be focus on love affection of between them which mean they will like to spend some time together they will still go out together as a couple even when children are there maybe keep a babysitter uh, go for movies go for performances and there will be some artistic tinge to the relationship both of them may also have a artistic bent of mind so they may like to go to concerts together movies together art festivals together 
book more you know book festival together and they may also like to travel a bit together so they may also keep some hobbies interests which may also keep them together because they also take a keen interest in each other's hobbies likes dislikes also and there is love in the air and there is lot of focus on the children and children will also most probably do well however if it's in an inimical sign that the seventh house lot goes then there will be more hard work which the couple has to keep doing to keep the family flock together especially because the focus on children will be too much and in such a manner that they don't find time for each other so the relationship goes down because other matters are taking over their investments may go south there may be losses in the investments also so there is a challenge there to keep the love and affection cemented together to spend time with each other date even after the marriage spend time as a couple together so that will be a challenge for the couple if the seventh lord goes into an inimical sign or it is paired with some doshas or negative aspects now if the seventh lord of the d1 chart goes into the sixth house of your d9 chart this shows that even before marriage maybe there may be obstacles to the union there may be challenges to the couple coming together and even after the couple comes together in spite of being able to overcome all challenges the challenges continue the challenges could also mean that one partner's work environment is ridden with some challenges people always bickering doing politics behind the back and so the other person's peace of mind other person's work also gets affected the one person brings home a uh, work home brings the problems you know to the home talks about that person is doing this behind my back that guy is doing this politics behind the back so even at home the husband and wife are talking about each other's work or one partner's work or what negatives are happening things are happening other thing which can happen is also that loans debts can also affect the relationship now if it's in a friendly sign then they may still take loans and debts so that pressure will still be on them to build assets to maybe sponsor their children's education and what not however if it's in a friendly side sign which means they will still be able to take the pressure they will still be love and harmony but though there are some challenges every now and then however if it goes into an inimical sign the seventh lord of the d1 chart goes into an inimical sign in a bad dosha in the sixth house then there will be lot more problems more obstacles more issues more inimical forces acting behind their back or looking at each other as enemies also if the pressure is too much on them they are not able to handle the pressure debts or loans of one person or not being able to do well in the career and work of, of one person may take the relationship down so this is a tricky placement and double the work that the couple have to do to keep the relationship floating to keep the relationship afloat now if the seventh lord of your d1 chart gets into the seventh house of your d9 chart which means that as long as there is a balance in, with each other there is a love and affection also but there is also a balance between what you want from the relationship what i want from the relationship there is a good synergy uh, what you should be doing what i should be doing what are the areas that you should take over more responsibility or accountability for what i should be looking how we are looking at finances many number of factors which will keep the relationship together then the relationship will be together based on the balance that they do the partnership they have, they have together how they work as a team that will keep the relationship together the focus will be a lot on each other on the relationship everything else for the partners will be secondary the relationship will be most important for them and so there may be high stability also in the relationship as long as the seventh lord of your d1 chart is placed in a friendly sign in the seventh house of your d9 chart but if it goes into an unfriendly sign or an inimical sign then it means the partnership will go through lots of ups and downs there will be push and pull how much you can do how much i can do how much you are contributing how much i am contributing the balance should be more on your side the balance is less on my side now those push and pull will keep happening one will try to rule over the other one will try to push their way and so these things may happen and there will be less synergy and there will be more tug of war between the couples because each one of them is trying to have the upper hand in the relationship trying to dictate to the other person rather than work as a team so this challenge may be seen in spite of the placement is strong the seventh house lord of the d1 chart going into the seventh house of the d9 chart mean the focus is on the relationship surely but if it's in an inimical sign which means there is a negative focus on the relationship which can be avoided only through superlative effort of the couple to keep the relationship going
Now, if the seventh lord of your D1 chart is gone into the eighth house of your D9 chart, this means that the relationship will go through obstacles, challenges, issues from time to time, and everything will be seen to be going well. Everything is hunky dory. Suddenly, something will happen. Some challenge will happen, and because of that, the couple will suddenly feel the tug of war or the tug and pull on one side, either through resources or because of suddenly somebody being. Uh, you know, sent to another location. So some or the other issue or health challenges or dearth of resources, something or the other will keep coming in from every now and then. And if it's in a friendly sign, the couple will still be able to keep their heads above the water, but it will be struggle. They will have to work hard to keep the boat afloat. And then a few months go by, maybe a year goes by, then another thing comes up. And so the whole life will be trying to overcome obstacles and challenges and to keep the relationship afloat. But if the seventh lord of your D1 chart goes into an inimical sign in the eighth house in your D9 chart, which means then a lot of challenges may come in and it will be very difficult to save the relationship from going down or drowning because the eighth house has water sign energies. So, yeah, it will mean that you will have to overcome a lot of challenges and issues or a lot of outsiders also. Those outsiders could sometimes become the in laws of one of the partners where in laws are not giving you enough support, in-laws are causing trouble or outsiders are getting involved in the relationship. There could be a hidden affair. I'm talking about only an inimical sign. That too, there are chances, no guarantees. So just because if your seventh lord is in an inimical sign in your eighth house, don't go and catch hold of your the, uh, the neck of your husband and saying, with whom are you having an affair? Please don't do that, men or women. So these are signs that there will be challenges from outside, not necessarily an infidelity. One of the options can be that. There could also be challenges coming in shared property or with in-laws or because of governmental pressures also or health issues because of one, there are issues or problems or something or the other keeps troubling you, trying to pull apart the relationship. So this is double work and it will directly affect the longevity of the relationship because the eighth house is about the longevity factors. And if it's about the seventh, the Lord going into the eighth house in a negative sign, the longevity of the relationship is at stake here. If the seventh house lot of the D1 chart goes into the ninth house of your D9 chart, here it means that there is a lot of shared knowledge between the couple, which means they may have even met each other at, for example, through education or education binds them together or similar thoughts, similar attraction, similar values connected to your faith and belief also. So, for example, two people, both of them are the lovers of books, both of them love information, both of them love philosophy, both of them love, uh, you know, going to ashramas, going to spiritual places, then that ties them together. It's a wonderful thing. They travel together because ninth house is also about long distance travel, faith, belief, and uh, shared values connected to your faith, belief, learning, teaching. So, there is a lot of common ground also and blessings of Guru's blessings of Father. So as long as it is friendly sign, there could be a lot of shared values, shared experiences. So the whatever the challenges the couple goes through, the more challenges they go through, if it's in a friendly sign, those challenges, those issues bring them together stronger. They act as a team. And because of having gone through all the challenges together as a team, they keep together because they are able to overcome those challenges. However, if the seventh lord goes into an inimical sign in your D9 chart, which means they will learn a lesson while being in the relationship and they will learn a bad lesson. And usually sometimes they may have such a problem that they may seek spiritual solace rather than wanting to be with the partner. I know of couples where because of the seventh lord going into an inimical sign in your D9 chart, one partner was always away, always traveling, not giving time to the other partner and other partner seeking spiritual solace, visiting ashramas, trying to spend time there, trying to, you know, keep the peace. So the challenges in the relationship happened. So the relationship surely went through a downturn because of the seventh lord going into the D9 chart in the uh, ninth house, but in an inimical sign. Now, if the seventh lord of your D1 chart goes into the tenth house of your D9 chart, which means there is a strong work connection to the relationship, to the health of the relationship. Either the couple are getting connected to each other through work, or they are working in the same organization, or they meet each other connected because of work, or through colleagues, something of that sort happens. And maybe because their work is related, that also keeps them together. 
when they get back home it's like two doctors they talk about what happened in the clinic and if they talk if they're working at the same hospital or the similar lines then there is more to talk about but if you're just in the same field both of you are in IT field even if you're in different um, roles yet there is a lot to talk about so yeah when they get back home work keep them connected work also keep them very energized and work also bring them together and work also cements the relationship by also giving them resources uh, and both of them may be doing very well in their career and because both of them are doing very well everything is hunky dory however if the seventh lord of your d1 chart goes into an inimical sign in your d9 chart so it means the partner could be facing challenges at work or you are facing challenges of work because of it the relationship goes through issues because relationship is being sacrificed at the altar of work because the seventh lord has gone into an inimical sign in your d9 chart in the 10th house so if your seventh lord is in an inimical sign in the 10th house in your d9 chart be careful that don't devote too much time to work don't make work too much involved within the relationship work can be maybe 10 to 15 percent of part of your relationship don't let your relationship be overwhelmed by work or work related challenges work related issues or work related colleagues coming into the relationship also so if there are colleagues at work who are unnecessarily getting involved in your relationship maybe you know um, saying something to one or instigating you against one another or one of you getting attracted to a colleague at work because of which the issue is going down the tree. So if 7th house lord of the D1 chart gets into an inimical sign in the 10th house of your D9 chart, be a little careful, don't involve work related issues or allow work related uh, problem challenges to affect the relationship. If the 7th house lord of your D1 chart gets into the 11th house of your D9 chart, if it's in a friendly sign, it means the relationship is cemented together because of the social interaction, the social network. The social network may also have brought you together and keeps you together also and keeps you strongly together. So regularly you go out, you socialize within the moral of the same community, you're seen as a good couple and so you don't want to lose your reputation in your society. So sometimes societal pressures will also keep you together and you're doing well in society. So everything seems to be okay. This would also mean the partner is working in a large organization so partner is benefiting so the partnership is benefiting also because the money is coming in your wishes and desires connected to the 11th house also being met however if the seventh lord of your d1 chart is getting placed in an inimical sign in your d9 chart in the 11th house or in bad doshas or in bad aspects then it means that societal pressures may actually be eating into your relationship maybe outsiders maybe family extended family may also be instigating one against the other or pulling you down or creating issues or creating suspicion between you or there may be some friend some social friend who is becoming involved with one of the partners or taking too much time it could also be husband spending too much time with his friends outside because he's finding more solace there not giving time to the family and the wife getting wild wife getting angry or upset or even vice versa for example spouse spending too much family time in a family in a sister's family in the in-laws or maybe the boys in-laws and others because of which the boy feels left out his boy's family is complaining why is your wife all the time spending time in her home and with the family so something of that can be coming through or because one partner is working in a large organization is too busy so working in the large organization is keeping the partner away and eating into the relationship and the cementing of the relationship also being weakened so one has to be careful if it goes into the 11th house in a negative sign in an inimical sign then those social challenges may also come in your wishes and desires for each other may also be affected however in a friendly sign all your wishes and desires may also come true as long as you don't allow the social pressures to get to you but you allow the social network to actually cement your relationship stronger now if the seventh lord of your d1 chart goes into the 12th house of your d9 chart this shows that the cementing together of the relationship could be because of one both of you have gone abroad so there are no outside influences there is no family friends to influence you there is peace of mind both of you are working abroad you're doing well there are no outside issues you come back home from your work and you have time for each other your children and you you are you are relaxed there is no issues everything is hunky dory this could also mean spiritual spiritually you are connected to each other so 
you could have some work which also you find spiritual means for example you are working in a hospital you are working for a charity organization you are working for some organization which is helping others so you feel very good and at peace within yourself and that peace is brought in the family that peace is also brought into the relationship and even if there are challenges you are okay you allow your partner to have his or her say and you are so spiritually happy because of your work the way you are connected connected to the supreme energy the relationship doesn't go south and if both of them are able to get connected to good work both of them are connected to spiritual organization some couples i know they are most of the time into some charity or the others working together for that charity taking time off from their business traveling to different countries and doing a lot of work or both of them get connected to work because both of them are working for a charitable organization for example both of them working for peta and they find spiritual solace also in that so through that the health and relationship is also kept strong however if it gets into an inimical sign which means perpetually one partner is always away either physically is away or mentally the person is always away you are not able to gel with each other there is distance not only physical distance but even mental distance from each other and maybe sometimes we may not see eye to eye many couples i know they don't get along very well with each other they find solace outside when they come home they talk to each other a little bit and they sleep they, they eat food and they sleep and there is very less that they do with each other and because of that there are less problems so there is a lot of distance between the two they both are in solitude from each other it is almost both of them are away from each other at a spiritual level so if your seventh house lord of the d1 chart is getting placed in an inimical sign in your d9 chart try and see that don't allow too much distance to be created between you two especially even physical distance or even the mental distance try and reduce those road blocks so that the relationship is good and both of you benefit from a spiritual elevation which this placement can give you if you work both if you both work together and overcome all the obstacles which the 12th house can bring in terms of waste and excesses so friends now that we have discussed how the 7th house lot of the d1 chart been placed in the 12 houses of your d9 chart in different good signs or bad signs can bring in different denotations today i did not connect the 7th house lord's placement on your d9 chart and how the 7th lord is placed in your d1 chart i gave an example at the start where i talked about how the girl's horoscope showed that the 7th lord is placed in the second house because of which she found her partner within the community then i showed how the 7th lord of the d9 chart within the d9 chart was placed in the 12th house because of which the husband was always away because he was in the merchant navy and the seventh lord of the d1 chart went into in the d9 chart in the eighth house so there were obstacles and issues between the family so i want you to do the linkages because of this example that i have given if your seventh lord for example is in the 10th house in your d9 chart see where your seventh lord is placed in your d1 chart and accordingly link them together and through that be able to manifest or get more clarity on how the relationship could be affected where the resource is coming from where the resource is going and where the relationship is also heading so friends like this video share this video and if you're looking for a personal consultation from me please reach out to me the link is given below till some other time with some other video this is a friend astrologer and guide fun signing off ciao